Hey everyone, RL Adams here with the blog to read.com. Please subscribe to blog to read videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is the new for 2012 Omega DeVille chronograph. The De DeVille is no, by no means a new collection, um, but this chronograph version is, and it contains Omega's in house made caliber 9300 movement. There's also a gold version of this watch which contains the caliber 9301, which has a gold rotor and a gold bridge over the escapement, but it's essentially the same movement. Love that movement. The 9300 is a fantastic movement. Silicon escapement, very accurate, fantastic chronograph. And you can see there that they nicely integrated the chronograph sub -dials. One issue that you may have is the fact that there, um, there are definitely indicators on the sub -dials, but there are no numerals. So you have to do a little bit of counting. This is a full 12 hour chronograph um, there are two hands in this subdial, so this large hand that's moving right here is for the chronograph seconds. I stopped it, starting again, and this has the chronograph minutes, as well as a smaller hand for hours. And this over here is the subsidiary seconds hand, and then you have the date. This case is 42 millimeters wide, which actually feels quite small in comparison to some of the other Omega watches because you have the the, uh, the Seamaster Planet Oceans, for example, that that are 45 millimeters wide. Um, this one is, you know, 42, is smaller, but this is a nice dress watch. And for me, of the new DeVilles, this is really the best looking one because I like that bi-compax chronograph. I think it's a very attractive look, and I think it does, I think it does the design really a lot of justice. I wanna sort of come in there close so you can look at that dial. Hopefully that's nice and clear for you there. You can see how this, the chronograph sub dials are not only recessed, but the edges are kind of diagonal, diagonally sloped, which has a really, really nice look to that. I think it's very, very attractive. Applied Roman numeral, Roman numeral hour indicators. I'm not the largest fan in the world of Roman numeral hour indicators, but they work well here. Um, this version has a metal bracelet. There's, this, there's a version with a, a strap as well. <coughs> Excuse me. From a comfort level, this bracelet is great, very smooth. In terms of the design, it's an acquired taste. I wouldn't call it my all-time favorite Omega bracelet. I think the Seamaster ones um, are a much more attractive bracelet. Um, but this one, if you like the look of it, it is a very high-quality bracelet. And I like how with the butterfly strap, it really ha it looks has this really nice integrated part right here where it closes in very not perfectly flush, but almost completely flush design. Um, and the mechanism works really, really quite well. So in terms of having their newest, greatest in-house made movement, which is the 9300, with this sort of more formal design and a chronograph, the Omega DeVille chronograph is really the way to go. I think there's a couple different uh, dial designs as well. Um, one slight minor issue I have is there is a lack of luminant on the dial, so seeing the watch at night is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. But other than that, there's a lot to like here. It's definitely an attractive design. Probably one of the best uh, modern DeVilles um, as of yet. Uh, price for this version on the bracelet is $9,000. And you can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.